start with another chapter called Life Insulators and Supports. As we know that on a tower, when a conductor is passing, so there should be an insulator between the, the, the tower and the conductor so that the current or the voltage doesn't pass to the earth. So the insulator should possess some very uh, good qualities that it is actually insulating the earth from the high voltage. So what are the properties of insulators? What should be the property of the insulator? First of all, it should have high permittivity. <coughs> so that it can withstand high electrical stresses. Apart from that, it should possess high mechanical strength. It should have high mechanical strength to withstand the worst condition of the loading of the conductor. Apart from that, you should have a minimum change in the temperature. So the change in the temperature should be minimum. So high resistance to temperature change. The fourth thing which comes it should be electrically neutral and the material should be porous. <clears throat> everything is self-defining over here, so we need not to define everything here. Only thing is that there are two things which are actually affecting the insulator, one is called the puncture and another is called the flash hole. <coughs> we should understand the difference between the puncture and the flash hole. These are the two things which actually damages the insulator and after that the insulator is not used or after the definition of these two one can understand which will be uh, what. So puncture is exactly what when the, the current or when the electricity actually passes through the insulator is called the puncture of the insulator whereas flashover is the actually flash between the conductor insulator and the earth. So, one can easily understand that the flashover is a little effect to the insulator whereas puncture in puncture the insulator is totally damaged. So puncture is not desirable thing as well as the flashover is not also desirable but even after flashover the insulator can be used but after the puncture the insulator cannot be used. Another thing is that uh, when uh, uh, simultaneous things happen, so the flashover should happen before the puncture in any insulator. So this is important point regarding object attacks for questions that flashover should happen before the puncture of a insulator. And there is a very good relationship between the uh, puncture and the flashover that is called the puncture voltage. The volt
to the flash over voltage. is exactly equal to the factor of safety. Uh, so, and this is an important relationship. One must understand, one must exactly learn by heart this formula. This is a very important formula for insulators. And the factor of ins uh, safety for any insulator is um, R to the damage. We should know it is puncture voltage divided by the flash over voltage. <coughs> so, these are the properties which are supposed to be possessed by the insulator. So, now we see what type of insulators are there. There are mainly three types of insulators. One is called as the pin type insulator. The normal one first is called as the pin type insulator. Second is called as the suspension type. And third is called the strain type. Strain or tension type. What are so normally. In low voltage, the pin type is used and it is used up to 66 kilovolt only. So, the, this pin type insulator is very costly, so and the size of the insulator is also big as well as the the weight of this insulator becomes high. So these three things, the economical properties and uh, its uh, electrical properties make pin type insulator used up to 66 kilovolts only. Beyond that, suspension type of insulators are used. So normally one can see uh, this type of insulator. This type of insulator which is mounted on the or some rod, a rod gap is there which is actually fitting the uh, insulator and on these the conductor are wound and that get into other end. So these type of insulators are actually mounted on the, mounted on the uh, tower or mounted on a rod and all from that the other end is taken. So the weight of these are higher and cost of these pin insulator are higher. So they are used up to 66 kilovolt. The only thing which is important to understand over here is that it is used below 66 kilovolt only. After that suspension insulators are used. So in the suspension type of insulator it's a strain. It's actually it's having a lot of gas which are connected in such a way that every disk is able to support 11 kV approximately. So one can understand that this since this is a strain, so one can have different type of uh, voltage values uh, according to the situation of the uh, uh, of the actually the uh, voltage to be transferred. Suppose if the strings is having 10 number of discs 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Suppose this string is having 10, 10 number of days. So one can understand that it is approximately the, uh, the value of the uh, voltage in the conductor is approximately 110 kilo volts. So by just merely looking at the uh, at the this and by counting the number of this one can understand one can calculate that how much voltage the conductor is actually carrying. So one conductor is carrying approximately of 11 kilo volts that is very important again so please remember this thing also and then by merely looking at the number of base one can calculate how many or, uh, what what exactly the voltage the conductor is carrying so there are since we can see this thing that the, there is a flexibility of uh, keeping the number of strings so I'm sorry keeping the number of disks in a string so according to the voltage the number of disks are increased or decreased so one more property of this uh, uh, string, uh, sorry, uh, suspension type of insulator is that that if this goes faulty, if suppose any of the uh, disc goes faulty, so it can be replaced by any other uh, disc of the same value, 11 kilo volt, and the string is again ready to serve the purpose. And in the future expansion, also it is used that if this line is previously of 11. Uh, 110 kilovolts, so it, it, it is to be increased to 121 kilovolts. I can merely add one more uh, disk into it, and it becomes the total string becomes for the 121 kilovolts. So, there is a possibility of addition and deletion from the disk uh, such that the uh, uh, voltage or uh, the voltage increases or decreases in the conductor. So these three properties are very much important that every disk is having 11 kilo volt and there is a possibility of changing the faulty disk from any uh, part and there is a uh, possibility of addition or deletion in the disk to have the desired voltage value. So, there is a third type of insulator which is called as a stain type insulator. The stain type of insulator are actually the name suggests that it is taking the same. So they, whenever there is a sharp break, sharp turn in the you know, transmission line, then there then we, we use the stain type of insulator. So uh, they take the stain actually and they are actually serving uh, the purpose. So we can have in this suspension type of or in the type of or the same type of insulator we can have the V-string also. What is called V-strings? V-strings are actually, uh, if this is my uh, cross arm and this is my tower. So, these strings are like this, these are actually the insulators only and the conductor is actually moving from here. So the conductor is actually going into the board right now like this and these two strings are holding the conductor. So what is the use of these these strings is that, so um, the insulator uh, String is minimum because these are connected by two strings right now, so the insulator movement is minimum. So uh, there is a less chance of line to line fault in the V string type of insulators, and there is a uh, since there the uh, movement is less, the uh, total length of the cross arm becomes slow. So the right of way is very much low and the tower spacing is uh, uh, the tower spacing uh, lesser spacing can be provided so this is the importance of the v strings apart from that 
uh, lightning performance is improved. So normally these V strings are uh, particularly designed for or suitable for the single circuit conduct, uh, circuits conductor only.